Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, we are playing Settlement Survival again and we are struggling to get our disaster village up and running. It have hunger, houselessness, homeless people, <laughs> uh, sickness and a lot of other stuff that we will overcome hopefully with your help. And yeah guys, before we start, check out the video description with the playlist uh, of this game with other episodes, how we get to this point and what will be in the future. Um, my other YouTube channel is Discord, social media and subscribe to this channel because this channel is for games like this, city builders, that kind of stuff. So if you like those, you will like most of the content over here as well. I would appreciate your sub for sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's go. So, right, uh, I started recording, but hey, <laughs> my OBS decided to screw me over. So, uh, I lost some footage, but we didn't last that much. The main idea that we did here that I decided to remember last time that boiler room was here and it didn't work properly. So, I needed to expand my town because we got a lot of people who want new houses and we couldn't do that because marketplace clinic, chapel, we're in all different places and they were covered only this area over here and we couldn't expand. So what I did, I moved the boiler room from here, which as you can see was covering not that much of an area over here. So now it covers a lot more area so we can make more housing here. I moved the marketplace over here. So uh, where is it? Bam marketplace right here so now it covers all the area that we have and more so with the help of this we can expand our city quite a bit get more population so that will mean more production moreover we finished one season of harvesting so now we are at 6000 food which is really really crazy good and also we are lacking well, we're kind of okay. Nothing bad is happening right now. So we are balanced. Uh, I decided to make few more warehouse warehouses because honestly, we are lacking storage right now. And I destroyed this storage space over here and put boiler room instead and created another warehouse somewhere here. There we go. Because we really need to be more efficient about this. So that's what happened in the previous 30 minutes. Uh, I managed to tell it to you in one and a half minute. Give a thumbs up for the really short videos. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. That's about it for now. Bye. <laughs> Can you imagine if that would be the whole video? That would be so cool. It's really hard to make condensed videos, to be honest, because you don't know what and when will happen. For example, we got the seal is the cook here who was struck by the lightning when picking the mushroom under the trees and died. Poor fella got killed by the lightning. That's horrible but it's okay uh okay we can get rid of our farmers now and send them on their own workplaces that means mines for sure more mines and maybe can we send them working in the foresters of pool that's really good i need more wood right now because we are getting the really good wood production going so yeah, they, they can just wander around and bring things somewhere. Moreover, I assigned like a lot of builders here so we can build the new districts way faster. And I think I want to prioritize the market here. So we managed to do it in one year. I was wondering if we can move the boiler room before the autumn. And look at that. We actually created a lot of houses and everything is good and everyone will have the houses for them. That's... That's very cool. And we got the new administrator. Nice. That's legit. So... We have two options. Uh, Benson, who will make duration of tools, clothes, and backpacks plus 20, which is... That's really fantastic. Or Barrett, that will allow us to get the to tobacco seeds. Can you guess what I will pick? Of course, I'll get the duration of my things. I don't really like to, to get the tobacco and stuff right now. It's useless for me, so... This is interesting. Each time for auto reappointment require coins, which we... How many do we have? How many coins do we have? 3.6k. What's the reappointment and when it's it's happening? I don't know. Maybe later. I, I don't know. For now, I'm happy that I have those two guys and that my stuff will last longer. I mean, closest tools and backpacks that will save so much resources for me and everyone will be happier. All right. So it's winter now. Yep, it's going. Everything's going white. I'm actually looking at OBS all the time right now, so it won't screw up my recording like it was the last time. Because it's like encoding overload that you can do anything because I'm doing it on the laptop and I decided to like... It doesn't take much of my GPU, like 70% of the silent mode. Let's go with the silent mode. But OBS decided like, no, silent mode isn't for you. Screw you. You will be doing this 
differently and i'm like okay all right what i want to do i want to build another school guys because this one is full we get more educated people and we can get more science output like that so services school and the main question where do we want to put it so it won't cross our borders over here with our expansion plans so the market will get us as far as this area and boiler room as far as this area so the best place for the school is next to the trading docks which is the production area for us i don't think it's a good let's place it right here for those guys i mean it doesn't matter where it will be located right kids will go whatever they do. they have nothing else to do and you can actually go after your dad's story how he was going to the school through the forest mountains rivers uh, by feet in minus 30 celsius that kind of stuff everybody had the stories right so yeah we'll place it somewhere here where is the school there we go and next to the quarry of course no okay we'll place it next to the, all those places are horrible why it should be next to the cemetery or so let, let's just place it here we can move it later okay we can move it later i don't want my kids to go to the school which is like next to the cemetery <laughs> that's horrible and that will also give us more production of the technology points so we can do more research after that oh we got one by the way so what do we need? Uh, we can make a herbalist hut, but we can't because I think we need clothes and linen, like some sort of clothes in order to produce medical supplies. So we can get that. So first of all, we need to get that uh, weaving thing here. That requires cotton, but we have other stuff. We got the planks. We can get the texture, te textile meal, and we can get the actual cloth right now so let's activate this one and we are finally getting some progress right here i'm really surprised how everything is going for me that i'm not failing that miserably uh new tech point acquired thank you one citizen wants new home thank you very much you will get it soon and now since we got two marketplaces we can get rid of this one and make some housing there or something else who knows so yeah look at that all those areas are covered so we can get several rows of houses over here that's so cool and we will need those because we got immigrants coming up soon so we'll have to settle them somewhere do we have enough wood oh we do not like we have enough wood but we are in a pretty good place wood wise let's put it like this uh that's a lot a lot a lot of houses that's like future proof in our village look at this it's so huge it doesn't look like cool yes i know but it's efficient efficiency is the key for someone who don't want to die early on me so yeah <laughs> since this is now our main district i think we can afford making the stone uh cut stone road did we actually got those to the cut stone road yeah this is a cut stone road this is so cool so yeah we can make the cut stone road from here uh let's say to 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 this point so people will move faster here and we might want to move the cut stone road down there as well because we will be moving er a lot a lot down that way so I want my guys to be efficient at moving something like this something like this and something like this so that will allow us some some faster movement speed straight away water mill texture mill or texture water mill greater efficiency i love that we got the water we got the texture so let's go uh, it doesn't fit guys we can get rid of this crappy fishing dock which doesn't do a thing for us it doesn't yeah it's horrible and oh that's good i was worried i want to move this water mill to the left a bit instead of this place so we can utilize more of the water space here and i was like i hope i didn't upgrade it with the gear i didn't i should have but i didn't so let's move this one away demolish and move this one away as well i hope we got enough planks right now and we can move this water mill over there and maybe place another one right here so alpaca was found by a hunter nice but we have those already let's prioritize destroying those buildings and if we want fish i mean we can get some over here what's this what's this that's a drift box guys equivalent old box made of seemingly quarterly materials has drifted over here in the river no one knows what's in the box a contain opportunity or danger 
What do we do? We can either salvage it, but we need fishing net, which we don't have, or leave and pretend nothing happened. Sadly, that's what we will do. I need to get some fishing net for the future. <laughs> so, right. Uh, I want fish in order to have the variety of food for my people. That's the main reason. And in order to do that, we need... Oh my god, we are lacking wood right now because, well, <laughs> that, that, product, that, that amount of construction we're getting over here is insane, to be honest. I didn't expect it to be happening anytime soon. So fishing is required to get the different types of food, but I don't think people will be really that unhappy because it depends on the quality of the food and we can't really do anything with the fish until we salt it. So screw that, we will use it later on and we will free some two of our workers. We don't have issues with the food as well right now, so we're good. Look at that, they just left it to lion over there. New livestock acquired. Who? We got the goose! There we go, so we can get the feathers now. I don't know why we need that, why I'm so happy, but I mean... That's so cool. I don't know, I feel I feel that those guys are nice, so that's legit. We will get some of those guys soon. Um, so, production, 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 processing. We need a uh, texture watermill, right? We can feed it all the way over here, alright? We'll just build it, but don't really build it. Just place it. And then we get the... We don't need tailor. We need the water... Water sawmill, right? It works! Look at that! We can build two of those instead of one. That's totally, totally legit, guys. And that will be really efficient because... Yeah, those things will work like crazy. Love it. So, that thing, texture meal. Oh, what does it do actually? Textile meal. What does it do? I have no idea what I've created. Can process cotton flax or cotton cloth to linen. So, we will need to bring cotton from our warehouse over here and make linen. And we will need the mm, masonry. Ah, we got this already. Okay, good. We will need the. Tailor. We got advanced tailor now that will be able to use clothes. This one is using the wool. Huh. Oh, let's just build it somewhere out of the area. Later. We'll build it later. One thing at a time, guys. Don't rush too much. Oh, look at that. The school is ready already. That's nice. Ready already. The thing is, we don't really grow flax seeds anymore. And uh, do we actually have any other type of seeds that we can, like, no, we got only flax, so we don't have cotton. Do we need goose for anything though? Feathers, basically. We can make pillows out of those. I don't really know. Let's take, let's check our production. What's this? Iron tools are full. All right. Output limit reached. Uh, what else can we do? Can you do hand? No, you can't do anything. That sucks. Keep doing tools then. Um. What else can you do? Backpack? Not really. Rough clothes from leather, wool, alpaca wool, linen, or cotton cloth. So we can do out of any of those. And now, since we lack alpaca wool, we can create linen clothing as well. That's... I think it's pretty cool. The good thing that, like, those knitting workshops can produce uh, other stuff, like shoes like ropes and that kind of stuff so we might need to create another knitting workshop right now in order to produce more stuff i think because like this one isn't enough so let's create a, uh, another production building right here not right here though not right here because where is the limit of our buildings marketplace limit over here so we want to make construction area production area right here a bit further away this one this one yeah they barely reach the warehouse so we should make the production right after the warehouse somewhere here or out here in the back hmm. probably a good idea i mean those pastures don't get the resource bonus by the way by the way so that's kind of sucks so kids 14 out of 15 2 out of 15 so they're both working i'm okay with that i mean that's giving us more tech points look at that that's cool so i'm good okay so mm, production buildings right those are still being constructed. We have enough resources for everything. How many workers do we have? 19. We Those guys are almost here, though. Immigrants. I think they will bring some sickness with them. I'm pretty sure about that. So, I don't know what to do about that. 
I will save the... I will cheat, guys. I will save the game when they will arrive before accepting them. And then I will decide. But for now, let's plan the production. Why are we freezing, guys? Let's, let's plan the production buildings. Where are they? Processing. So we need, like, multiple knitting shops. Like, two or three, maybe. Let's figure out what do we want to get in the end. What kind of uh, production we're gonna do. So, we don't really need baskets in the future because those are like you need a, a, a bit of them. Scarecrows probably not that much as well. Fishing net is required, I think. Shoes would be a nice to start. I think we create two of those, so like another one would be good enough. I don't I don't really want to have too many of those upgraded specifically. So let's make a road over here and oh my god, it cannot it can't connect directly. <laughs> That's ugly. That's ugly, but I mean, maybe maybe that's what we are going for. <laughs> Ugliness. All right, and processing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm, tailor. Somewhere nearby, because we will get the tailor processing down there, so it should be all in this area. Let's place it like, 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 like this. Tailor and another knitting workshop. It's so long, Good, my gosh. That's what she said. Again. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will do. So that will be production area for us. Let's get the weird road laid out, uh, layout over here. So people will be like, what the hell is happening here? There we go. Uh, we're getting close to spring. So soon we'll have to get the um, food growth again. Our, our food reserves are really good right now. Like, we are mostly limited by the warehouses, not by the actual things that we have. We... Take a look at this warehouse, guys, please. Take a look. Dried animal dung. So this is warehouse, mostly full of water and shit. What's this? Sand and sand. Sand, shit and water. That's what we're storing here. And we're producing sand again. Let's produce... How much clay do we have? Um... How do I know how much do I have in the storage? 1,000 of this. And 1,000 of this. I think we don't need any more clay and sand for now. Because, like, that's a bit too much. So, let's remove one of those guys. And, yeah. We are oversaturated with those resources. Unless we'll get it to some production that we can sell later on. No point. So, we got the event. Big cry swarm crisis. People, hives everywhere. We can clean them up or leave them be, so... Let's clean them up, maybe we'll get the bees like that. Oh, we got some bee walks, okay. I was expecting to get maybe bees, but I'm okay without them as well. I, we need technology for that, that's why. So it's March, it's time to do our yearly uh, stuff with the food. I'll skip it so you won't be bored. Alright, so we got the immigrants. Let's do the save disaster. Uh... New sickness, it will be called... So, let's see. 14 immigrants, that's so cool! We got 40 more people, this is like... Uh, about 10%... Oh, no, we got way more. We got 160... That's 10% of our population. Let's go accept. So, what do we get? Ta-da! They, they are sick with some shit again. Um, plague. Let's see what kind of plague do we have here. I think this is... Cholera as well, I remember this sign, so... Me measles, measles. And this one have different, this guy got cholera, so we got two sicknesses. Now, not one, but two. Happy dying. So, let's see, we got 14 people, how many of those will die? They got no clothes, they got... The, like, they, they have no anything. But they got the workforce, that's the most important thing for us. So, yeah, our farms are good. So let's remove all the workers because I don't really know. If we leave them, they'll be working in the fields like idiots instead of doing important stuff. So we got three citizens right now who got the plague. They are, they'll be all in the clinic. I hope the doctor won't be killed. Uh, residents in range health plus 15%. That's the range. Oh my god, look at that death. Josephine, the miner, 49 years old, died by the speed of alpaca when playing with it. Mmm. 
some 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 really troublesome times here. <laughs> My God! All right, so we got this textile water meal, and we can do what can we do? We can do linen because we can't do anything else yet. So let's do linen. There we go. So now we will be producing linen and that will allow us to produce more clothes in the end, which is really cool. And maybe we will be able to get even better stuff in the tailor. Maybe that will be more efficient. Who knows? But for now, I think this will be like really future proof thing because here we can get the linen, we can get the cotton, all that stuff. And we can't really rotate it though. Like it's sad. I would love to put this one and this one all together, but not really. Uh, we got a water sawmill here for uh, planks again. Working, that's good. We got the sick guy over here. I don't want him to work, I want him... Ah, okay, he's in the medical bay, it's good. We got four people sick right now. Doctor is sick as well. Hopefully they will all die together. <laughs> or get well, I mean, I hope they will get well, but most likely they will die, so yeah. Tailor. Can create a rough glosses and backpacks. What's the difference between this tailor and this tailor? There is no difference. I think I've created the goddamn same building. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So I have to destroy this building straight away. That's how you create the proper villages, guys. We create the wrong buildings in the wrong places. Uh, they look kinda... No, no, they don't... They look the same. But this is just a tailor. Oh my god. How did it happen, guys? Well, let's create another advanced tailor. Actually, actually, wait, 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 cancel. We need this tailor because we will have to move this tailor away. So we will destroy this tailor instead. And this one will be working because... Because, yes, because that will allow us to get production out of this area and we can get some housing here again or something like that. So... This is like the more efficient area for housing, right? We got the knitting workshop built up. Let's get the... I don't know, do we have shoes? We don't have shoes. Shoes will make people happy, so let's make shoes. Out of reed. Reed shoes. Seems legit. So bad that you can do several recipes in one building. So we got only two people infected. I don't know if they died. Yeah, people are dying of cholera. One, two, three people died. And now we got the medic left, right? Yeah, the one who got the sick last. So if we lose four people and gain 17 people, we are in a good state, right? Because we got way more people. They're adults, all of them, and they can work straight away. So I think that's a legit exchange. I mean, that's not human-like, but efficient, efficient. So what can I do about that? <laughs> Look at that. There is alpacas going right in the middle of our city. What the hell? Dude. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Advanced Tailor. It can create the same creepy stuff as well, but... It can create so much more. It can make down jacket, which is... Um, which will give more happiness, basically, and higher temperature resistance. If we fit linen with feathers, for example. So that will create a better jacket, so... What about the resource consumed? Yeah, it's double the resource consumed though, so that's more expensive. But it's also worth like way more if you want to sell it. So feathers, wool or alpaca wool together with the... Oh! We can make it out of linen and alpaca wool, for example. So if we don't want to make the rough clothes or we get a good influx of uh, normal linen or whatever, we can go with the down jacket straight away. Oh. Okay, so... I don't really think that we need second tailor here right now. But I think it will be a good idea to do some of those because... Right, no, not right now. Right now we don't have enough normal clothes. So let's get the rough clothes first. And then we'll decide. So they use the leather. Can we use the leather here as well? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, yes, we can. So we can use either the leather, alpaca wool or linen. Anything will do. Gotcha. So that's a lot of options. What's this? Output limit reached. We have output limit, 224. Let's get a bigger one, I mean. 
there is no such thing as output limit for linen. Like 500 will do, I guess. There we go. So they can keep working. And oh. This is July, we have to harvest. Uh, this stuff again. I'm so bored of adjusting the farmers all the time, but we have 24 workers. Maybe we can fit all of them into the farms. Yep, doctor died of cholera without timely treatment, so we lost only four people. And that's a really, really good result, as if you ask me. So I'm look at the food supplies, they're, they're so low. My god, we need to do something about that. So yeah, guys, that's enough for this episode of Settlement Survival. I really like what happened. We are doing quite a progress over here, not without the issues. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like uh, city builders and that kind of economical games, basically, and strategies, because this is the main um, role of this channel. And check out the video description and pin command for the playlist of Settlement Survival, other playlists, my other YouTube channels, Discord, and social media, so you will find something useful there, for sure. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That's about it for now. Stand push out. Have a good one. Bye.